Being able to block potentially unwanted applications is a big deal. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using Windows 10 and Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So what is a potentially unwanted app? It's not really a virus or malware or software that's malicious, it's just software that can cause your machine to run slow and display unexpected ads and maybe install other software. I like to think of this as you know spyware from the early to mid 2000s. Now, again, it can cause an impact on your machine and it can also be apps that just have a poor reputation based on this type of behavior. So how do you enable this? Well, before Windows 10 2004, you would do it via PowerShell. Now it's done via the GUI, and I'll show you that here in a moment. I could also do it via Microsoft Endpoint Manager and even Group Policy. Now, before I enable it, I might want to put it in audit-only mode because there could be legitimate business applications that maybe show up as a PUA. So if we put it in audit mode, then we can go through the event log and look at that. And this is how I would do that. Now to test this, we're gonna use demo.wd.microsoft.com and there's gonna be some special tests that we're gonna to run to be able to demo this. So let's jump into a demo and go into a deep dive. Okay, so to demo this, we're gonna go into the Windows Security Center and click on App and Browser Control and then we'll have this new section called Reputation-Based Protection. And when I go into those settings, we'll see things around smart screen, see my other video for that but we're gonna look at potentially unwanted app blocking and we're gonna enable that, okay? Now, if I don't have Windows 10 2004 installed, then I would use PowerShell as I showed you before to do that. So I've already done this. So if I run git mp preference and scroll down here to uh, PUA, there you can see PUA protection is set to one, so it's enabled. All right, so now let's go in and attempt to run this. So I'm gonna use that demo website I talked about and it's gonna link you out to this other web page from Mtoso that's going to allow you to launch a test. So when I launch this test, watch what happens. Down here in the bottom, it's going to say that Smart Screen is trying to block it, but we're gonna bypass Smart Screen. We're gonna tell it to keep it, and then Windows Smart Screen kicks in. So then we're gonna tell Windows Smart Screen to keep it. And then look what happens down here in the bottom. It found it and it automatically blocked it. And then if I go into the Windows Security Center here and I go to review, there's the event that just showed up and there it is. And you can see here it was blocked. Now, if I go to the Windows event log and we do a refresh on the Windows event log, here you can see the event and the Windows event log. If you just filter on 1116 is the event ID and there you can see where it blocked it. So folks, that's PUA, potentially unwanted applications and being able to protect against them. It's really easy, it's low hanging fruit. You should definitely enable it in your environment. All right, folks, take care. We'll see you in the next video.